So do you get the urge to dress thematically for holidays and events? I don't really go all out, but I'm always disappointed if I miss an opportunity to add a nod to the context in my outfit. For Memorial Day and Fourth of July, I usually end up going with some version of red, white, and blue, nothing too traditional. And I forget sometimes that there is an equally appropriate alternative, especially for Memorial Day, and that's camouflage. So today I'm talking about the place of camo in your wardrobe. But first, I want to invite you to take my style personality quiz. Find the link in the show description or at my website, SignatureStyleSystems.com. So I was a little kid in the 60s and a big kid in the 70s. In those days, apparently, the wearing of camouflage was a controversial issue. Some people wore it to show their pro-military ideology and others wore it to protest the war. I don't know. But then in the late 70s, camo had a fashion moment and it has every few years since then. In between, it's largely viewed as practical clothing. So now it's possible to find clothes in camouflage patterns, but alternative colors or almost camo patterns in traditional camouflage colors. Um, I also want to say here parenthetically that if camo is not your thing, but you want to participate in the look, wearing your version of OD green is a fantastic alternative alternative, singular. What is OD green? Someone asked me once. It's olive drab. Apparently that's not everyday language for everyone, but the hero loved camouflage. And I think he actually had certain color names that he remembered and associated um, from model paints from when he did models when he was a kid. So yeah, Olive is having a moment right now, and by a moment, I mean a season. Uh, And actually, by a season, I mean a trend. I expect it to be a few years. Like, it's already been a few years. I just think olive is a color that when it shows up, people like it, and it becomes popular. Then kind of when it goes out, it's just like anything. You know, people get tired of it or whatever. But, um, okay. Back to camo. Also, still, it's stuck in my mind about that I mentioned the style personality quiz. And I feel like um, in the style personality quiz that camo is really, really associated with um, the natural style. But I think it can also show up in romantic sometimes. That's somewhat outdoorsy, also traditional. Um, and probably some of the other ones when they, when it's having a moment that it's in style. Um, okay. So do you want to include it in your wardrobe? Here's some things to think about. Lifestyle considerations. So camo is perfect for leisure wear, like camping and, uh, going out to the beach or the lake or whatever. It's Uh, great for little kids. It's great for when you're gardening. I think a lot of the point of camo is that it doesn't get dirty looking. Okay, I guess the real point is that it makes it hard for you to see, but you get what I'm talking about. It is good for not being dirty looking. Um, And so in the, the next step up in my, the lifestyle categories that I use is um, casual, like nice or casual. Uh, smart casual or um, that type of thing. So a single piece of camouflage can make a a really fun outfit in this lifestyle category. Uh, If you combine it with other pieces in a very coordinated way, if you're just wearing, um, you know, black pants and a camo t-shirt, that doesn't really make an outfit. Um, I have this camouflage t-shirt. It's got like little puffy sleeves on it kind of. And it's um, got like a a warm white and I think a 
little bit of a gray and a little bit of pink. And it's really pretty. So if I put that together with other pieces that um, were in those colors and the print is the thing that pulls all the colors together in the outfit, um, then, you know, the camo doesn't really like show up and show off as a real military item. Um, yeah, so that is a, a way that you can use it in a coordinated way that makes it good for um, for casual. And I just wouldn't recommend it for um, business or for formal. Um, some style consideration. Uh, you wanna choose clothes that fit really well. It's important, it's always important to choose clothes that fit really well, because if they're too big, usually people choose them too big, but sometimes too small. If they're too big or too small, you're gonna look not as good. Let's just put it that way. Um, but baggy camo can look sloppy. And um, yeah, also baggy cam, like all over baggy camo is kind of what the, you know, military look is. And then when you're wearing camo, you want to keep your accessories on the simple side. Like don't overload your outfit with a bunch of military inspired items like dog tags or patches. You can, yeah, probably use those with a different look. Maybe like with denim or something. Okay, so choosing your perfect camo. You want to get your level of contrast right, which is the difference between the lightest color and the darkest color. Um, you're trying to match your lightest color in either your skin or your hair, not match it, but you don't want the difference to be more, to be greater than the difference between your lightest feature and your darkest feature. You don't want the difference to be more than that in the camo. Um, and if you need, because most camos are um, low to medium contrast. If you need it to be higher contrast, I think a really fun look is honestly just to uh, combine like camo shorts and a white t-shirt or something. So you can just combine it with another color that makes it more, you know, that increases the contrast between the camo piece and whatever else you're wearing it with. Um, and then Find a camo that's in your best colors and your favorite fabrics. Last year, I saw a cashmere sweater in a thrift store in a really beautiful ivory camo. And so there's all kinds of fun, like the t-shirt I was talking about earlier, I think is just a linen t-shirt, which is really lovely for summer. And yeah, so here's some options for you. Potential misunderstandings, some things to think about. If you wear all over camo, you could be mistaken for a member of the military. Unless it's a dress. I don't think any military uniforms are dresses. And actually, I think a camo dress is a really fun idea. Um, I feel like one of my daughters has one of those. Um, okay, another potential misunderstanding. You will be seen as outdoorsy and possibly grounded. Um, and is that what you want to communicate? Um, I know that like during that season when I was trying to somehow like um, reflect the hero's style in my own uh I was seen as more grounded than I actually am. And that was not a good thing because, yeah, I just didn't, wasn't understood by the people around me. And so I didn't like make friends that were really easy for me to hang around with so much. And uh, people were, you know, expecting different things from me than what I was um, gifted to do. So this is one of the reasons that I am pretty careful about camo. I don't wear a lot of it, even though I love it for other people and think it's super practical. 
Okay, so then OD Green has some of these same concerns, giving off an outdoorsy or military vibe. And the thing that's tricky about Olive is distinguishing the version that's right for you. If you want to get your own personal palette of color, I offer a starter palette with my personality profile and palette, and that's the first stop on your signature style journey. You can learn more at my website, signaturestylesystems.com. So whether you include camouflage in your Memorial Day outfit or not, I wish you a very safe and happy day of remembrance. Thanks for being here for Signature Style Systems and just have fun being you.